Hi all, this is V, and this is Bran Castle, or Dracula's Castle, in Transylvania, in Romania. This is your first view of Bran Castle as you walk toward it. You see a beautiful area with a pond and trees, and then, boom, there's this huge rock face with a castle on top. You go up a very steep walkway to get to the front door. Now, whether it's Dracula's castle or not, depends on what you mean by Dracula's castle. We'll get into that in a little bit, but first, the real history of the castle. It was built between 1377 and 1382 by local Saxons, but there was probably something here, some sort of fortress before that time. The castle was used in defense against the Ottoman Empire and was home to different Saxon and Hungarian kings until it was returned to the city of Brasov. After 1918, Transylvania became part of Greater Romania and the citizens of Brasov, through unanimous decision of the city council, gave the castle to Queen Maria of Romania. Much of the castle is now styled to show how it looked when she lived there. She and her daughter owned the castle, and it was a much-loved residence and summer residence. In 1956, Bran Castle was transformed by the communist authorities into a museum. In the 90s, it was noticed the castle was falling into ruins, and restoration work took place. In 2006, the castle was given back to Queen Maria and her daughter's heirs and in 2009, it fully re-entered the possession of its legal heirs. This room led to a secret passageway that only soldiers knew about, but this room fascinated me. It had a replica, I assume, outfit that a Teutonic knight would have worn, a painting from 1535 by the mayor of Brasov, and a medieval painting. There's not a lot of the painting left, but you could see it.
While it's a beautiful castle and a dominating fortress in its own right, full of history, there's one little bit of its history that draws most tourists to visit, and that is Dracula, or Vlad the Impaler. Now let's start with Vlad the Impaler. I've read one suggestion, and our tour guide had another, that Vlad the Impaler probably visited Brain Castle. Um, our tour guide said that he sacked the city of Brashov, and it would have only been natural to stay in Brand Castle a few nights afterward. I read that he was actually taken prisoner and kept in the castle for a few months. So there's a very good chance he was in the castle, but this isn't actually his castle. But it's still considered Dracula's castle. Bram Stoker, who wrote Dracula, apparently saw a painting of Bran Castle, and that's what he used to develop the castle in which Dracula lived. So it's still Dracula's castle. He described it to a T, and it's the only castle anywhere near Transylvania that could have been used as Dracula's castle in the book. So technically, it's still Dracula's castle, not necessarily Vlad the Impaler's castle, though. While Vlad the Impaler is a historical figure, obviously, Dracula is fictional. They even have memorabilia from the movie Bram Stoker's Dracula. Dracula's castle or not, built into the rock face and the hillside, you can see why it would make an excellent fortress. And with the spectacular views, I can also see why it became a beloved summer home. And now it's an interesting tourist site. The floors creak. There are some very claustrophobic, windy stairs. It's very higgledy-piggledy. I could see getting lost trying to play hide-and-seek in this castle. But it's so interesting. It's fantastic, and I really hope you all enjoy it.